Welcome to another personal training tutorial for you from aotraining.net. I'm going to show you how to create a CD that you can distribute and send that will showcase your products or presentation. So you might have a corporate orientation that you need to set up or you might have a project that you're concluding and you want to package everything that you've done to this CD, send it along and they can use that to stage and to show all of your products. Now this is often done very poorly and I'm going to show you how to do it very professionally. So just to help to set the scene, what we are trying to do here is have a CD-ROM go in. Once the CD-ROM goes in, it comes up and there's a staging platform to link to all of the things that you want, not just a list of files burnt to a CD. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's not so difficult. Pay attention, follow along, and you won't have any problems. So let's say, for instance, we had a list of files that we wanted to put on our CD. We might have, I've got an Excel file, a Word document. There's a few PDFs here. There's even um, a video. Now, in, real, in the real instance of things, there would probably be many, many more than this. So uh, many that I've done, we sometimes have something like uh, 30 to 40 files. You might have five or six video presentations. It contains all the data from your project that you want. A resource can even be bigger than that. So how do we do it? Right, so what I've done now is set up our PowerPoint presentation so it's going to act as the interface for the CD. So when you put the CD in, what is going to happen is that this first page that you see here is going to open up full screen. And from there, we are going to be able to link to these pages that will contain information on our PowerPoint presentation. It's really quite simple to do. So on each of these pages, here we have information. This is where you would then put all the relevant information that you have with regard to this CD-ROM that you're sending to people. Then here you would put information about a specific part of the project. And this might be my website, about my website. And here we might be put, talking about the benefits of AO training. It could be that we now are going to show them a, a video that will help them with their training or an overview. And then, of course, we might even link them to a YouTube video. There's a whole range of things you can do. I'll basically leave that up to you. All right. So how do we do this? Well, the first thing that we need to do is to set up some links on our document. So what I've done here <coughs> is set up some uh, shapes on my first page. This is going to be our staging page for our CD-ROM. Now, we have tutorials on how to edit shapes and set them up and how to align them, so we're not going to spend time doing that with you now. But uh, what we would need to do is, um, is make sure that these would, are now going to link to these pages over here on the left. So we would then just establish a hyperlink by going right click and uh, or put an in from up here, insert hyperlink. And then we want browsed pages, uh, place in this document. And uh, where do we want to go to? Information was slide two, wasn't it? There it is, the information, okay. So that's now going to hyperlink to that one. We do our hyperlinks accordingly for each page. So my site would go to, we'll just do that again, insert um, hyperlink, place in this document. Where is my site? Was that page three? Yes, my website. Here it is here, and so on. Okay, so now each of these is set up as a hyperlink to those staging pages. So let's just check that. We'll go to slide view, view show. So now, forgive that flash there. Um, what we now have is the, here's our front page opening up. And if we click on, let's say benefits, it takes us to the page that says benefits on our slideshow. 
Okay, and it's the same with all of them. YouTube video, we go to our YouTube video. If we wanted to go to um, information, it takes us to the information page. So you're starting to get the idea that this page becomes the staging platform for all the information on your CD. And then those other platforms become sub-interfaces or sub-platforms to go to different information and documents. Now what I've done, just quickly, is I've set on each of these pages another shape that says home and I've set a hyperlink from that back to our first staging page so that now we have this effect. When we go to slideshow view, say we go to my site, we want to go back to our original page, we just click it and go back. We want to go to YouTube and back. So we're now hyperlinking around our document, video, back to home. Now I've done this just quickly and we do it much, much nicer than this if we're setting something up. But I'm just quickly putting this together to show you how, not a living example of it. So do you understand now what we can do? We have basically a document that we can move everything around. Now this is very, very helpful to us. We'll hop out of slideshow view. What we now want to do is to go to each of these pieces of information. Now we go to um, this page here, which is our information page. We put in all the information that we want people to see about the CD, about the product or whatever it is. Onto this page, which is my site, we're now going to embed files that we will link to that will be able to help people to understand more about my site. So I'll pause the video. Well, actually, I'll show you how we would do that. First of all, let's just go back here and we're going to, let's we'll keep it consistent. We'll go um, copy and we'll go into my website. We'll go paste, 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 paste. Okay, there's four of our files. Now we can align those files up. You know how to do that, don't you? You just go to your drawing toolbar down here won't undock it, but you go draw, a line, and um, we better line, click them all first. So we're just going to go through, we go draw, a line, a line left, and then we want to make them equal in the center, so we go draw, a line, and distribute, distribute a line vertically. So now they're perfectly aligned, but they've got links that we don't want. So We'll just click on that and we'll go um, basically hyperlink and we're going to now hyperlink to, now here's our existing folder. This is a folder where everything is in. We put all our documents in here. So we're going to hyperlink to document one PDF and we'll go OK and we'll call this, um, we did that wrong. Well, I'll just what we need to do here, I've actually made a little error. We're going to take the text out of all of these boxes. Now the reason for that, as I have mentioned in an earlier tutorial, is that if you have text in there and then you put a hyperlink in, the hyperlink will go in there as words. We don't want that at this stage. So we'll take the text out first. So here we are on our website page. The text is removed from these documents, so we're just going to now set our hyperlinks. So we're going to go to um, edit hyperlink, we'll go place in this document. Um, no, we go to existing file or web page and we'll just find our folder where everything is in and hyperlink through. So now that is a hyperlink to document one. We would then make our other PDF in here. So let's do that. So now what we have is we have these four buttons have been set up to hyperlink through to document one, document two, three, and four in the same folder where we have all our information. So we could then give these the names, document one, document two, whatever they might be. Okay, well, we've got the idea now that we now have these hyperlinks set up. Well, let's see if that works for us. So we're going to go to slideshow view, view slideshow, now, where were we? Was that on my site? Yes, my site. We'll now click document one. And what happens? We may not see this, but here we have, we've opened up a PDF file that is, in fact, 
document one. So I probably should have set that up previously, but you can see that we're in a PDF file that shows we're in document one. All right, let's uh, close that up. We'll go to document two. And there's document two is opened up. It's again a PDF file that is document two. So we're getting the idea. So now we want to go back to our home page. We're back to our home page and we're starting to set up our site. So we simply go through and do that for all. When we go to our benefits page, we would put our hyperlinks in here that would go to our PDF, our Word documents, our Excel files, whatever they might be. When we go to our video page, we install our video. Now I'll go ahead and do a little bit of that. Okay, now here we are. What You probably would need to watch some of my earlier videos to know how to set um, shapes up and add text to them and so on and create hyperlinks. We've got videos that cover all of that material. If you watch those videos, you can do what I'm showing you now quite easily. So what I've set up, let's run through it. We have our staging page here with our links to other pages. Then on those other pages, we have our information here. We then have our documents that we're linking to. Here we have three other documents that we're linking to. Then we have our video that we're, so Windows uh, Media Player video even, and here is our YouTube video that we've put in. Well, let's see if this is all going to work for us. So we go to Slideshow, we go to our information page, here it is, yes. Then we go to My Site, and here's our documents. We just, there's document one, there's document four, and so on. So we're starting to get the idea. We go back to home page. Let's now have a look at um, our benefits site. Here's an Excel file we're linking to. So here's the Excel file. Here's a Word document. So we're starting to see how we're using this CD-ROM to take us all around. We're using this PowerPoint presentation to take us all around where we want to go. To our video, there's our video. If we want to go to the YouTube video, here's our YouTube video that we can start to watch and so on. So, so what we have created here is a slideshow presentation that becomes an interface. Now we're going to use this information and package it into a CD and when the CD opens, it's going to automatically, they won't see any of these pages over here. All they're going to see is this in full screen mode, they'll see this basically and it will then act, they'll just, and when you click here, they'll go to my site, it's going to show them exactly what you see here on their CD-ROM. Now, the interesting thing about this is that it's going to take all the information with it. So everything is going to take, come out of this folder that you've got it all in and it's going to be packaged into the CD and it's done with a click and it's done with just a couple of minutes. That's our next tutorial. This is Trevor Rayo Training. Thanks for joining us and thanks for listening.